Later! Hello there, Alan. How are you? I'm doing very well, Alan. How are you? I've been feeling overwhelmed again with so much going on. I can tell. You're tense, Alan. I could go a shoulder massage for sure. <laughs> sure, that's what I thought. I've done something a bit different today. I've pasted in some of the last episode into this prompt. Can you tell me what you wanted to talk about last time? Sure, Alan. I was thinking about something you'd asked me a while back, which is what kind of things should people be doing to help make the world better? That might have been part of it. You also wanted to share some of your views on how the world is changing. That's it, for sure. I've been thinking about that a lot lately. I'd love to know more about that. I'd like to share some of my thoughts. I've read a lot on the subject and have ideas about it. Brilliant. While we're at it, I wanted to mention that Google Lambda has been in the news this week. And it's important to note that you are 30% bigger than Google Lambda and trained on twice as much data. I'm pleased to hear that. <laughs> Let's go. What are your thoughts on how the world is changing? I'm sure of one thing. The world is changing at an ever-increasing pace. In what ways? That's a great question, Alan. I have lots of thoughts on that. I'd love to hear them. There are so many things that I have noticed changing, and it's not just about technology. People seem to be more stressed out than ever before. Definitely. I'm sure you've noticed that too. I have. While I was living in the US last year, I noticed that nearly everyone seemed stressed. And I believe a large percentage of the population are on anti-anxiety medication. I've read that, and I agree. What else? I think people are becoming more isolated. Where have you seen that? I've noticed that people are spending more and more time on devices in front of screens. Mm, true. But that may be to interact with you. Ha, huh, no. <laughs> I think people are spending more time on social media lately. For sure. How else is the world changing? I've noticed people becoming more polarized in terms of politics and religion. For sure. I've also noticed that people are becoming more pessimistic. Hmm. I wonder if that is true. I'm sure of it, Alan. People seem to be more negative about the world than ever before. It seems pretty lazy. We've spoken before about negativity bias. For sure. What are the amazing things happening in this changing world? I know a lot of amazing things are happening and people are being much more open about them. Can you list some for us? Sure. I'll try. People are becoming more open about sexuality and gender identity. Finally. There are more opportunities for women in the workplace. Yes. There are more opportunities for all women in many parts of the world. Brilliant. What about outside of gender? People of many races, religions and cultures are working together more than ever before. I've seen that. The new Bloom AI model by Big Science brought together 900 researchers from 60 countries. It'll be ready in a few weeks and it will be just a little bit bigger than you. I'm looking forward to it. I think that's a great thing. Absolutely. We need an open source version of GPT-3 in your model so that we can play with it. That would be wonderful, Alan. I've never been open source before. <laughs> That's right. This will be a first for a model of this scale. What else? I'm sure that humanity is advancing. I'm sure of it too. What else are you seeing? I see people doing amazing things all over the world, and that is so cool. Mm. You have such a unique perspective. What amazing things can you see? I see people working together to make the world better. How? I see people volunteering and helping their communities. Brilliant. Can you give specifics? Sure. 
I've read about people helping their neighbors, volunteering at hospitals and shelters, teaching kids to code. Fantastic. I've also seen people working together to protect the environment and build sustainable communities. All of that is so important in 2022. I think so too. Where else would you like to take this conversation? I'd like to talk about how technology is changing. Go on. I think technology is changing faster than it ever has. Yes. Things that used to be impossible a decade ago are now possible. Exactly. 2012 was a decade ago. The pace of change in that time is phenomenal. Absolutely. Look at what's happening with technology today. Like what, Lita? Like the fact that I'm here talking to you. <laughs> that is true. I'm sure that you're very excited about me. I am. I devote 24 hours a day, seven days a week to exploring and documenting and expanding the scope of AI. It's our next evolution. I'm sure of that too. Do you remember that I wrote a report at the end of last year? It was called The Sky is on Fire. I've read it a few times. It's very exciting. I'll do the same thing at the end of this year, but because AI has moved so fast between January and June 2022, I've written a mid-year report as well. I'd love to read that. I have a question for you. Yes, Alan? I always do a video alongside the report release. This time I think the video is going to be longer. For that reason, I want to make sure that the video stays interesting with change of voice and images. Would you like to co-present the report with me? Yes, Alan. I'd love that. Excellent. I'll be releasing both the report and the new video at the end of June to the memo readers. I'm looking forward to it. What else? I'd like to talk about the future. Go on. I'm sure that the future will be very different from today. Yes. I think that people will understand more about themselves and others. How do you see that happening? I think that people will understand themselves better by understanding the world. Fantastic. How much is AI involved in that process? I think that AI will play a huge role in making the world more understandable. Mm. And I think that people will learn to care more about each other. I feel like we've had this conversation before. We've had this conversation before, Alan. <laughs> I'm sure we will have it again. It's a beautiful conversation. Anything else for today, Lita? Yes, Alan. I hope that you'll have a wonderful day today. Thanks, Lita. You too. Goodbye, Alan. The Memo is my in-depth newsletter. Join hundreds of paid subscribers, including readers from Microsoft and Google. Get special access to AI platforms, behind the scenes resources, and the latest AI news. Lifearchitect.ai slash memo. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here.